All right, so thank you for joining me today. Today is part 10, acting, developing a character. And today I'm joined with Andrew Fletcher, who is uh, an English major here at Washburn uh, with a minor in theater. And he's had uh, a little bit of experience as an actor and uh, wanted to get your input on a new actor. And my first question is, what experience have you had as an actor? So I started acting here at Washburn University um, <clears throat> in my sophomore year. I was kind of uh, sort of picked up by it. I was very lucky to be um, a, a Paul Pratchett, the uh, chair of the theater department, kind of took me into his office one day and then put me in one of his classes and put me in one of his shows. And then from then on, I, I've done uh, seven shows here um, and several classes, getting my minor. Not too much experience except for here at the theater at Washburn University and uh, just a couple classes and then I've been lucky enough to go to a, an acting conference once. Um, that's, about, that's about it. And you recently were a part of a play. It was, um, can you tell a little bit about that was and what uh, your character was? Yeah, that, so that was a Gross Indecency, um, the Three Trials of Oscar Wilde. Um, I was very lucky to get the part of Oscar Wilde. It, it, so this show by Moises Kaufman is uh, their transcripts from the trial that are put together by Moises Kaufman um, following these three trials that Oscar Wilde had towards the end of his life. Um, he, Oscar Wilde was, as well as a fantastic playwright and poet, he was um, sort of revolutionary in the, an aesthete, as he would describe himself. Um, and because of his artworks and his relationship with Lord Alfred Douglas, he was uh, eventually convicted of homosexuality, for, of gross indecency, which is in, in um, England at that time was illegal. It was right. illegal to be homo a homosexual. So he um, was charged with that through these three trials and uh, had two years of, was then imprisoned um, and put to hard labor for two years and then, which caused his death shortly after that. So it's a very tragic uh, story. Um, this happened in 1895. And, we still have to, we still have, it's still prevalent today. Yes. Say. And you played Oscar Wilde. Yep. And I, I actually have some clips here uh, from that play. I was a student at Trinity College where I took a classical scholarship and a gold medal for Greek. I then went to Modern College Oxford where I took a classical scholarship, a first in mods and a first in grades. There I also won the New League Prize for English verse. My next question is, as an actor, how do you become the character? How do you prepare for your part? That is actually not a too difficult of a process for theater because you have such a long, typically a, a long rehearsal period. Um, the job of an actor is simply to make the words make sense. That's all you really have to do. So you're taking the script, the playwright's script, um, and the director's vision, and just making the audience understand that. And that's the whole job as an actor. Um, <clears throat> so, developing your character is uh, all that you really need is your how you say your line, um, your mannerisms, and how you react is is essentially just developing a character. I start off simply with the words and then the mannerisms. Um, you know, you have your uh, gender or your uh, say uh, age, sex, and Time period is really what bases your character. Say if you're not, um, if it's not a historical character like Oscar Wilde. Oscar Wilde's simple because he's we, we kind of know how he looks, how he feels, how he how he reacts. Right. Um, someone who's fictional, you take a, take the script and then try and identify how they how they act and how they react. And um, you know, through the period, you just you make choices. Choices is really what. Acting is all about. So yeah, on how and... you feel the character would be portrayed. Yeah. I mean, obviously, that, you know, acting on stage and on camera is going to be very It's going to be different, but um, the, the whole process of actually developing your, your character is, is pretty much the same whether on stage or sure. on camera. I'd say so. Yeah. You know, you, like you said, you got to kind of have, uh, you got to make these judgments on what you think how the character would be portrayed, mm -hmm. how the character would act and say things. And just be honest with it. That's yeah. the most important thing. Um, and simplicity, I think. Uh, it's very easy. You know, you want to toe the line between reality and overacting. 
in certain shows maybe you'll have to overact, but um, I, I am a firm supporter of simplicity in acting. The, um, keep it, keep it simple, keep it clean. Um, and obviously a big um, issue that some new actors probably come across is the fact of nervousness, whether on stage or on camera. Mm -hmm. You know, being nervous about being in front of all these people or having cameras on you. And so, have you, do you face nervousness and how, how, do, you, uh, how do you deal with that? Um, yes, n everyone, I think, in theater has nervousness and many love it. Um, I, I actually enjoy the nervousness. Um, well, it, and also, with experience, it dims down. You know, it never goes away, thankfully, but it, it's, it dims down a lot. Um, in my first shows, you know, you, when you go out there, you're shaking and you're terrified and your stomach's in knots. Yeah. Um, and you still have a little bit of that several shows later. But with nervousness, um, I think it was Sir, Sir Patrick Stewart said that the stage is the safest place in the world. So you have the script. If you have confidence, if you have the script, you have the script memorized, you have the, your actions, you know how you're going to do it, then it's kind of the safest place in the world because you know how it's going to end up. Um, so dealing with that is just, you know, keeping calm, keeping um, focused. Focus is the most important. And then using the nerves. I like to use them. Um, this last show is kind of neat because we, the way our lights were done is so we could purposefully see the audience because they were the jury. Um, and it was fantastic because then you can, it spikes that adrenaline, spikes that nervousness and you get to play to every single one of these people. And it was, um, I think it's helpful. Um, some people might think it hinders a little bit, but it gets your energy up, gets your, you know, you're on your toes, you're ready to go. Right. That's good. Yeah, that's interesting you say that because um, some people thrive off of that nervousness mm -hmm. and some people don't like it at all. Sure. And, yeah. um, you know, I, I've experienced nervousness when I'm doing filming and stuff. I don't have an audience necessarily, but my audience is the camera. Yeah. You yeah. know, and even that for I've noticed with other people other first-time actors that I've worked with that just having that camera on there is really nerve-wracking oh yeah and um, just to try to deal with that and, and one method people use is to just kind of pretend the camera's not there mm. uh, and, and I imagine there are probably some people in theater that also kind of maybe tune out the audience a little yeah. bit and pay more attention to everybody else on stage Yes, well, certainly. I mean, the what, the action on stage is should be your complete focus. Yeah. Um, and I, I agree with that. Um, I don't I don't forget the audience because they're they're seeing everything. Um, so that, maybe it's just different styles, but right. and, and a lot of people with the lights, um, you can't see the audience typically depending on the lights are done. Right. So, so a lot of people forget them. They try to mm -hmm. put them away. But uh, I I don't I, I like it. I um, they're spending their time with us, so um, I like to try and make it so that each and every one of them can see me and they can hear me and they can enjoy what, what's happening um, without hindering you know, the folk, what's happening on stage. I worked with the imagination of my century so that it created myth and legend around me. I summed up all systems in a phrase and all existence in an epigram. So, um, and then, but I will say that acting in live theater versus filming is it's very different because we ha we have a film uh, we film uh, uh, every show once in one showing, um, and you can see the little red light whenever they're recording. <laughs> yeah. It's a completely different fear at that point because that then it's you know that it, you can't change that. You know right. you can change your performance in the next show, but you can't <laughs> once it's recorded. It's recorded. Right. So I can understand that. And filmmaking might be a little bit di bit different because it's uh, can't go back and change it. Yeah. But. Well, I, I, I like the videos I showed, um, you know, it's, um, I thought you did a pretty good job from the clips that I, from what I saw. Um, I unfortunately didn't have time to come see your show, but um, I did see those clips and I thought they were great. And, you know, my last question for you is, what advice um, or techniques, just in acting in general, would you give to new actors, um, whether on stage or otherwise? Well, just do it. <laughs> Just put yourself in every single bit you can. Um, <clears throat> experience is, is really everything, uh, and training and, and learning how to speak. And, um, and then for me, my biggest problem as a young actor was speed. 
just to just be comfortable. Be comfortable in what you're doing. Um, be confident, be comfortable. Take your time. Essentially, that's, that was my biggest problem as a young actor, was um, not really uh, taking my time with it and right. enjoying every single second of it, because it, after a while it goes away. Yeah, that's a really good point, being confident and taking your time. Because yeah. I mean, if you're not confident in what you're doing, you're not going to promote a, a good performance. Absolutely. Um, and, and yeah, and comfortable as well. Yeah. Comfort, you got to be comfortable, because if you're not, then you might not. You'll, you'll lose focus and you won't enjoy it as much. Right. Well, I, I appreciate you joining me today to uh, talk about uh, acting specifically on stage, but next week uh, it's going to be acting uh, on camera, so be sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm more nervous about this than I am <laughs> on stage. <laughs>